A rare confrontation between law enforcement and the faithful. Chinese Muslims clash with police outside a mosque in southwestern China. For two days last weekend, residents of the village of Najaying tried to protect their mosque from a Chinese government reconstruction plan. They want to demolish the roof of our mosque, an emotional local protester tells CNN, speaking on condition of anonymity. This is our last bit of dignity, the protester says. It's like someone going to your house and demolishing it. CNN reached out to Chinese authorities for comment, but the only official acknowledgement of the incident comes from this local government statement urging protesters to turn themselves in after disrupting social order and causing severe adverse impact. Is it safe to be a Muslim in China today? No, safe. Ma Zhu is an imam and activist from the Hui Muslim ethnic minority, living in exile in the U.S. No Muslim is safe in China. My people, the Hui people, everyone is trembling, scared and living in fear. He claims the Chinese government has targeted hundreds of Hui mosques across the country, demolishing their Arabic-inspired domes and minarets and replacing them with Chinese-styled architecture. CNN has independently verified the before and after images of several of these cases part of Chinese leader Xi Jinping's policy of sinicization, instructing religions to basically look more Chinese. The logic of what China is trying to do is about social re-engineering. Uh, it's, 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 it's by remolding people. Academics and activists say since Xi came to power, there have been crackdowns on expressions of religious, ethnic and linguistic identity. Xi Jinping's policies are aimed at all socially organized groups, including Christians, Buddhists, and even some civil organizations, including LGBTQ. CNN extensively reported on the detention of more than a million ethnic Uyghurs and other minorities in China's Xinjiang region in internment camps. And CNN reported on clashes around churches in eastern China, where authorities chopped the crosses off the top of Christian places of worship. Those scenes in 2015, remarkably similar to the images of protesters trying to protect their mosque today in Najaying. Today they'll change our mosque, tomorrow they'll ban us from going to mosques, the local protester tells CNN. We know because that's what they did to the Uyghurs in Xinjiang. A last-ditch effort to protect deeply personal concepts of faith and identity from being defined by the Chinese state.